By 2011, three of us volunteered in a program run by Deborah Lyons. And we didn't know it at the time when we were volunteering, but she had a dream for a non-government funded, faith-based program and a living community, similar but larger than the vision that we had for the Resource Center. She dreamed of a small scale 24 apartment building, an office and a chapel. The vision was crystallizing for a place where women and children being marginalized by abuse, underemployment, lack of education or a crisis could be permanently restored. It was time to take some action, not to build a shelter, but a community. It would need to be excellent. It would need to fit within the community where we live and be sustainable long after we were gone. So many of these women and their children in abused relationships have turned to emergency shelters in Tarrant County, in Fort Worth, I know in Dallas, who can serve them temporarily. But the beauty of Gatehouse is that it provides two-year stay, an opportunity to be surrounded by people who love them, and a chance to succeed. Margaret Mead said, never underestimate the power of a small group of committed individuals to change the world, because indeed, it's the only thing that ever had. Domestic violence happens to the poorest of us all and the richest of us all. It is a scourge that needs infrastructure. It needs our judges to take a firm stand. It needs our prosecutors to take a stand, but it needs us as human beings to do that. No woman should be trapped in an abusive relationship. No woman should feel unsafe in her own home. This cannot continue. And we must have the courage to draw a line in the sand and say, you never, never, never hit a woman. Gatehouse's living supported community can change the lives and it will be a model for others to succeed. One of the great lessons we learn in life that regardless of your family name, the number of college degrees you hold, how rich you have become, or what level of notoriety you have achieved, everybody needs a little help. The Gatehouse will provide a safe harbor and a realistic option for those women and children who have been abused. The Gatehouse will offer housing, transportation, child care, food, clothing, education, employment, guidance, medical care, counseling, and life skills through private funding. Individuals and organizations in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex have donated millions in cash and services and merchandise to fund the purchase of the land, to build the community, to furnish the facilities, to provide staffing, and to support the extensive programs that will be offered here at the Gatehouse. I too wanted to help commemorate the significance of today. And I'm doing so by giving this flag of the Lone Star State to the Gatehouse. This flag was flown over the Capitol on the day that I took the oath of office to be the governor of the state of Texas.